Yo, yo, battle rap is so lit right now. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to GTX going down this weekend. Go to Rap Grid. It is $50 on Rap Grid. If you wait till tomorrow, Saturday, it is going to be $60. I already seen it. So if you want to save $10, you might want to purchase it today. You know what I'm saying? Straight up and down. Um, drop in the comment section who you think is going to win. You got easy to block Captain Disaster. Fire battle. Fire battle. You got Reed Dollars and Pass. Fire battle. You got Big K and Rex. Fire battle. Like, come on, Hollow and Thesaurus. Like, you got Charlie Clips and DNA versus Satire and Dumbfounded. Like, bro, GTX is doing their thing. I can't wait for this weekend because I want to see these battles. Let me know who y'all got winning. I really want to go live tonight. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to talk about what I'm getting ready to talk about now. Let's go back in time real quick. Shout out to my Philly battle rappers, man. You know, back in the day, because you have new fans who are from this era, then you have the older fans who are from the era that started it all. You know what I'm saying? You got back in the day when you had the top class records, headshot records. You had uh, uh, Touch Money, where it was Reed, it was Kaboom, it was Eddie Morris, it was NH, it was Caution. Uh, 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 all the way down to Stunt Woods, Molly Franks, Rain Man, Frank with the grip is gone. Uh, 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 M.I., uh, 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 you had them and, and others. You've had them, right? Then you had the go getters. You had Joey Jahad. Quilly Mills had went over there. Uh, 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 D Jones. All right. You had Steel, Magic, Ace Inferno. You know what I'm saying? Headshots. Um, um, um. And then you had, then you had the top shotters. Which consisted of Cheek Raw, Little Man, Vodka Rocked with him. And then you had Bucks. Then you had Bucks, all right? Now, a lot of y'all, now Bucks wasn't like the most lit, in my opinion. It was, that was, that was Cheek Raw, you know what I'm saying? With go getters. I felt like he was the leader if there was one. But Bucks was reckless, he was wild. You could hear he was pinning it together, you know what I'm saying? The most infamous video of him. And it wasn't when he came at uh, Gilly the Kid, because that was crazy, too. But it was when they caught D. Jones. Remember that? Remember when they caught D. Jones walking by them buildings? And they had the camera on him and all of that? And I ain't trying to incite no old beat, but remember that? You know what I'm saying? Bucks was the main one. Bucks had got rested on some street stuff, a shoot. And I think he was looking at, he was facing life at one point. You know what I'm saying? And I, I don't know what happened with his case. I know he did like 14, 15 years, right? He literally just came home, all right? Not that long ago. He ain't been home that long. Bruh, bruh, can y'all please go to Philly Fame TV? Shout out to Philly Fame TV. They cover everything that's going on with Philadelphia, whether it's sports, whether it's hip-hop, whether it's battle rap. I've been subscribed to them forever. You know what I'm saying? Please go to Philly Fame TV. Bucks just dropped a video. He's calling out all the New York battlers. He's called out Swave. He called out Snake Eyes. He's talking about Mook. He's talking about Lux. He called out Chess. And that's where I stopped it. That's where I didn't even get that far, really. I stopped it because I seen what type of time he was on. He's coming back being a bully after doing like 14, 15 years. He wants back. He wants back. He's, he, he looks like he wants to battle. He looks like he wants to battle. Listen, this is the reason why New York always got to have fire battle rappers. Because they're always going to look at New York like that's a battle rap culture. They're always going to look at Philly like that's a battle rap culture. LA has their battle rap culture. It was all one culture, but from their respected areas. Like when you hear LA, you hear they had, they had the pit. They didn't have smack DVDs. They had the pit. You see what I'm saying? Philly had their thing. New York had the smack DVDs. They all have their own culture in all reality. Please do y'all homework on some of these Philly battle rappers because I don't think y'all see what's going on. They are coming back. We have got to wait and see how this Hollow Man and Head Ice battle turns out. Because if Hollow Man still got it, and now Bucks wants to, I'm going to tell you right now, Bucks needs to be on the trenches card or, or, or uh, 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 Battle Academy, something, something. He's hungry. You already see it. He has the aggression. He has the aggression. He has the believability, like, and he has the, the hunger 
The hunger. Come on, man. I would, man, let me tell you something, bro. Hollow Man's battling. Enes is battling. Kaboom is battling. Reed Dallas is battling. You always hear NH talk about battling. Like he's on the line of, about coming back. Like he's on the fence with it. I think Eddie Morris might want to take a run or two. I don't know what the holdup is. We seen Rain Man come back. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that we seen Cicero come back. Cassidy come back. Like, bro, are y'all opening your eyes to what's happening here? A lot of the Philly battle rappers, and this is why I have to give credit to Easy, because with him, be, if Easy was just a regular battle rapper and they had a little bit of buzz around him or whatever, I don't think the trenches would have blew up like that. You know what I'm saying? As as the way it did. I think a lot of that came from what Easy bought. Even when he battled Reed, he actually said that. But I'm not saying this is not about Easy, but I'm saying he shed that light on Philly. And with this trenches card, especially with this New York versus Philly card, he's he's re yo bro, he's rewriting not rewriting history, but he's adding on. Because he's bringing now bringing back a Philly versus New York. This is crazy right here, bro. This is crazy, bro. Philly, I see y'all. I see, young hand. I see you. Top floor light. I see you. News 215. I see you. And let's be clear here, too. You know what I'm saying? I have respect for the new Philly battle rappers. I understand y'all, y'all the new generation and y'all wants to focus on y'all. But a lot of us who grew up in battle rap, we respect the history of this. We all were watching. Guess what? All them freestyles where Reed got millions of views and all that. We were watching them. Where you think they came from? A lot of them came from me. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, I know almost, almost all that freestyles by heart. You had Meek Mills with the Bloodhounds and, 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 uh, and Mel. I mean, Lil. Like, oh, man. Oh, man. I like this. You know what's crazy? I was talking to Sick today. And uh, uh, it's crazy. Out of all these Philly battle rappers that I was just, or, or people who are running around tearing up the mixtape and YouTube scene up, right? Tech Nine's the only one who made it? Battle rap wise. It was only tech? That's crazy. I mean, I I mean you got the bill collectors and the and uh and uh Rosenberg Rolls. I didn't see them back then, is what I'm saying. I don't think they were in it back then. So I'm not talking about them. You know what I'm saying? But I mean the legends, the OGs that we know them for. Uh uh K Dot, the showstopper. Shout to K Dot. I've seen a lot of recent interviews with him. You know what I'm saying? Um That's weird. And then from Philly, well, I can't say that because Gilly the Kid, shout out to Gilly, rest in peace to his son too. You had major figures back then, like, uh, stay pro, oh my God, that was such a dominant, crazy era. But anyway, Bucks is back, can y'all please hit the, hit the link. If I'm making a blog on it, then you know it's serious. And I did not watch it yet, you know why? Because I'm going to go live. I want to watch this with y'all and we react to it because I'm telling you now, it looked like it's crazy. For him to come out and just start shooting at people the way he's doing it, there's no way he don't want to battle. So now it's just like, yo, if he come back and his pen is crazy, yo, yo, come on, man. I think Philly, New York, and L.A. always got to have battle rappers at this point in time. Always, always, just because of how the history started. Y'all got to always have people who want to battle rap, you know what I'm saying, and be ready to rap, to to. to, to continue on with the legacy that's already there that's 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 damn they've been passed down to them you see what i'm saying but um shout out to bucks shout out to bucks i'm definitely going live later on and we're gonna watch this together because i know tomorrow's gonna be about gtx and i do not want this overshadowed you know what i'm saying i dropped the ball with the danny Myers battle and speaking of danny i see danny calling out lux i want to say this oh i see danny calling out jr Ryder too that's a, that's a whole nother blog i'm tripping right now but I see what's going on out there. Don't think I don't. You know what I'm saying? One more thing I want to say. Because I don't like when y'all do this. When we talk about legends and pioneers, y'all like to confuse, y'all like to throw the word old in there. Let me tell y'all something about old. All right? Age don't mean you can't battle. It just means you older. Nothing more, nothing less. It don't matter if someone is old if they getting busy. Danny is over 40 and he's running around still getting busy. The age don't matter. I'm going to tell you right now. I know you want to stay young. For, the age don't matter. It's about the. It's about how you continue your legacy. It's about how you're producing. It's about how you're showing up to your battles. 
You can be 47 and be killing people. A lot of y'all not getting it. Mook is not 20. He's not 25. He ain't 28. Lux ain't either. There's a lot of people who are actually up there in age now. They still have the skill. So let's be more mindful before we just start talking about how old people are when they still get busy. Period. Look at Ines. That's his slogan. He gonna rap till he's 50 years old and he's still getting busy. You know what I'm saying? That kind of bothers me a little bit because you, you can't put that on a bad rapper their age if they are still getting busy. That's how I feel about it. But yo, hit the link. I'm gonna see y'all in a few. I'm out. One.